What's up guys, welcome back once again to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be talking about how to successfully run a charity live stream. Now just over three weeks ago, I actually did my first ever charity live stream. And it wasn't a typical playing games at your computer, interacting with chat, shaving your head when you raise $200 type live stream. It was actually an IRL one where I wore a camera on my shoulder, uh, some batteries in my backpack along with some live streaming equipment and I attempted to run a marathon. And the lessons that I learned in the month leading up to this charity live stream apply to anybody that wants to do a live stream and raise money for charity. It doesn't matter if it's IRL or if it's you playing games at your computer or whatever the content is, these tips apply to everyone. And we'll be diving right in after a quick message from today's video sponsor. The HD60 from Elgato allows anyone to easily record and stream at up to 1080p 60fps from PS4, Xbox One or Nintendo Switch. Simply connect your console via HDMI and your PC or Mac via USB 3 and you're good to go. You can find out more using the link in the description. Okay, so tip number one is to choose a charity that means something to you. There are literally thousands of different charities that you could choose to raise money for and uh, there's some great causes out there, but the biggest advice I could give is to choose a charity that has some sort of personal connection to you or to a friend or to a family because that connection is gonna come across when you are streaming to your viewers and make them more likely to donate because you can really tell when somebody is plugging a charity that has had some sort of effect on their life. There are of course some charities that are specifically aimed at gamers, so if you're looking for ideas, I would suggest looking at St. Jude, Special Effect, Gamers Outreach, Extra Life, Child's Play. There's literally hundreds out there, so just do some research and find a charity that means something to you. Tip number two might be a bit of an obvious one, but it's to choose the platform that you're going to be live streaming to. Now, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, wherever you're going to be live streaming, think about where your audience lies. For me personally, I had a, obviously a much bigger audience on YouTube than I do on Twitch, but I had such a good connection with Twitch and for raising money for charities in the past, I'd seen lots of events happening on Twitch that I reached out to my partner manager here in the UK and was able to arrange some front page time. So I thought that that was the platform that made the most sense, but certainly think about where your audience lies and where that kind of charity stream content is gonna do best. Tip number three is to think carefully about your schedule for your charity live stream. Not only planning the date, uh, time and day of the week that that's gonna be, but think about the length of your live stream. Are you gonna try and do a longer live stream because it's for charity, maybe six, 12, or even a 24 hour live stream? Have you thought about how difficult that will be and uh, to keep things entertaining? Maybe you're gonna need to bring in guests, reach out to some fellow streamers that you enjoy watching or maybe that enjoy watching you and bring them on as guests as part of this longer charity live stream that you're running. People love to feel important and it's a great way to keep your content fresh and the charity stream entertaining. Also, you should probably think about the schedule of games that you're going to play. If you're gonna be doing one of these longer streams for charity, uh, it would be worth publishing a schedule of which game you're gonna be playing when so that your audience can choose when to tune in, uh, maybe tune in for their favorite games. So think about the game schedule as well as possibly the guest schedule if you're gonna be bringing people into the stream. Tip number four is to use a charity donation platform. There is absolutely no reason to be accepting donations to your personal PayPal for many different reasons. Firstly, it's a hell of a lot more work for you if you're having to take PayPal donations yourself and then send that money to charity, especially when it comes around to tax year where you have to declare that income going in and then declare that you've donated it to charity. It's just gonna be a massive headache and there's no reason for you to do it. But secondly, you're gonna have a better trust from your audience. You know, some people stopping by your charity live stream probably haven't seen you before. And if you're accepting donations to a personal PayPal account, they're probably not going to donate. Whereas if you're using a donation platform that's specifically built for charities, they are much more likely to trust you. Now the two platforms that I would recommend that have specifically been built for this are Tiltify and Just Giving, both of which are implemented into Streamlabs or Stream Elements so that you can still get alerts for people donating, but you never need to handle any of the money yourself. It just goes straight through to the charity that you're raising money for. You can still trigger things like alerts when somebody donates or have a donation goal going across the bottom so people can see the progress. Uh, you can have the top donators shown or most recent donators shown um, or even like an event list you can still do all the cool things that you usually do using Streamlabs or Stream Elements, but you'll be raising money through one of these charity donator sites rather than through your own personal PayPal. Tip number five is to organize and promote and to give yourself a lot longer than you think. 
I would typically advise at least a month to plan a charity live stream because you're not just representing yourself on stream, you're also going to be representing a charity. You're going to need this month not only to create a lot of visuals, but the actual promotion needs a lot of work as well. So you can obviously do a lot of promotion on Discord if you've got a personal community Discord, or if you're a member of one of the larger gaming Discords, reach out to the owner or one of the mods and see if it's okay for you to promote your charity live stream. You've also got your social platform, so Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, create a video for YouTube talking about what you're gonna be doing and when it is. Twitter posts, Instagram posts of the behind the scenes of getting ready. All of this to build hype to a specific event, a special event, which is your charity live stream. As part of your promotion, you should also think about contacting some game devs. So if you have some specific games that you're playing as part of your charity live stream, reach out to those game devs. Maybe they'll give you a key to give away to your audience or they'll just help with the promotion by retweeting it when you go live. Now you'd be really surprised at the response you can get from some, especially some of the smaller indie game devs, and the worst that they can say is no. You should also definitely contact the charity that you're raising money for. Tell them a bit about what you're doing and exactly uh, why you're raising money for them. They'll probably help promote your live stream as well, and maybe even you know send you a t-shirt or something to wear on your live stream. Finally, as part of your promotion and organization in this month leading up to your live stream, I'd recommend having a central page or a central location that people can go to to find out everything about this uh, charity live stream that you're doing. So this could be a Twitch or YouTube event page, it could be your Tiltify page or your Just Giving page where you have all the information, or simply a page on your website if you have one where people can go and find out everything to do with when it starts, who you're raising money for, and all the details about the schedule and the games that you're gonna be playing. Tip number six is to prepare some unique designs uh, for your live stream, for this charity live stream. So it doesn't just look like your standard live stream that you do you know, multiple times a week, but it's specifically built for this special event, which is a charity live stream. You obviously want to have some kind of donation goals or trackers or alerts or some, something to show when somebody donates as some kind of incentive. But really feel free to change up your color schemes here a bit. Maybe use some of the colors that your charity are using and just design something really bespoke for your own live stream. For me and the marathon live stream that I did when I was running, I tried to make it a little bit more interesting for viewers by pulling in some stats and having an overlay that showed uh, heart rate, calories burnt, how far I'd run and how long I'd been running, as well as obviously the donations that were coming in from people that were watching. The final tip, tip number seven, is one of the more important ones to think about, and that is how are you going to incentivize donations? So what I would recommend doing is setting some sort of net goals. So uh, when your community as a whole raise a certain amount, you will do some sort of silly thing like shave your head or take a cream pie to the face or whatever it is you decide to do. This really helps band the whole community together as they're raising money for a good cause and then you are doing something uh, to incentivize that uh, which will be entertaining for them. Obviously make sure that you're thanking every donation that comes in, so keep an eye on that recent event list uh, for any donations that come in and really make a big deal about anybody that is giving any amount of money. And just remember that it's not about you, this is all about the charity. So even if you only raise $5 over the course of your charity livestream, that is still $5 that the charity will be able to use in some sort of way to help people. So it's not about you and gaining followers and trying to hit big viewer counts or anything like that, it's about the charity instead. But most of all, just have fun because uh, it's a really great thing that has become popular on Twitch, these charity live streams, obviously raising a lot of money for these charities. Uh, so have fun whilst you're doing it. If you would like to watch some of my uh, marathon live stream, I have just edited down a sort of compilation of the best bits that happened uh, during the marathon run and the live stream. So I will leave that linked in the top card as well as down in the description below this video. A massive thanks to all of you that came by and watched. It was just the most crazy experience ever. Uh, a huge success of a live stream. Uh, so thank you to all that watched and also massive thanks to this month's patrons. These people uh, keep the Gaming Careers channel running, allowing me to do this as a full-time job and creating content for you guys and subscribers. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.